Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Telly Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon. Welcome to another No Pause video reaction and analysis. Today we have a request from my awesome patron, Alex. Alex brings me all that really cool uh, metal stuff and sometimes he brings me other stuff that I just don't expect. So this is Dream Theater doing Night Terror. So this was released about a month ago. This is a really, really new thing. and This celebrates the launch of the return of Mike Portnoy who is back in the band um yes mike mangini did such a wonderful job in the interim but now they got mr portnoy the original drummer back with them and i cannot wait to see this i have been holding off on watching it because i knew that i was going to be doing this as a reaction so this is going to be fresh for me and i don't want to hesitate i want to get right into this let's hit that play button here we go Wow. Century 
<laughs> wow. That's cool. I hear the wind howling outside. Um, I have to say that this, this reminds me of the early dream theater stuff where when I got into them, this is what I loved about them. All of the sections of the time changes, the improvisation, the soloing, the um, James's beautiful voice. I mean, that bridge was so nice, so well done, so beautiful. Um, and, you know, James's voice and, 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 you know, I don't know if he gets enough credit, but I'm going to give him some credit here right at the top because um, when I hear his voice, that is just, that's dream theater to me. Just hearing him singing over this stuff uh, really, really ties in my connection with dream theater from when I started listening to them many, many, many years ago on that first album, Images and Words, that um, he carried such, such a, a great, great melodic um presentation of this metal music in his singing and i just really appreciate that um and he did that in this song too that bridge is so so cool um boy i'll tell you uh portnoy <laughs> certainly did not slack off in any way over the years that he's been gone because that was absolutely a masterclass performance. Those fills that he does, he's got signature things that he does, and and um, he's talked about this before, and other people have, and and uh, I've noticed it as well that he he plays uh, with these figures that are four hits in, with the kick drum and the in the toms, and but he does these flurries of fours, I call them, and. Uh, it's it's such a signature sound for him the way he plays and also those fast fills that he does around the set you know he's got his signature sound the same way guitar player has signature sound and uh you know uh, i i just love i love the fact that uh i'm hearing that again back into the world of dream theater no shade cast on mike mangini he did a great job but i always felt honestly that he was filling in for Mike Portnoy and that Mike Portnoy was one of the reasons why I loved this band. So I, along with many, many others, are very happy that he is back in the band and making great music like this. This was absolutely amazing. Um, I was curious about uh, the keyboards, because the whites of the keyboards, I don't know if, if there was some sort of marking on them or if they wanted to give it a grungy look, but I, I like that. I thought that was really cool when I saw it. I was like, oh, this is getting a little grungy. It's not like, you know, this pure white ivory looking uh, keys. So it's kind of dirty and grungy and stuff like that. So I kind of like that. John Petrucci on guitar doing what he does best. And these guys are a lot older now, but it doesn't affect their playing. I mean, they are still doing amazing stuff. And uh, a lot of bands have kind of taken what they have done and and have been influenced by many, many contemporary bands because these guys came back into the world of progressive rock when progressive rock wasn't fashionable anymore. And they kicked open the door uh for progressive rock once again uh just amazing stuff along with other bands so you know don't kill me in the comments i know i know that was an epic epic song uh one of the highlights for me in this song was the section where they kept flipping the beat upside down because they were changing the time signature on it and the meter was changing and it, what you would thought would be on the beat became on on the upbeat so it was on the beat on the beat on the beat and then Without changing what they were playing, they changed the time signature on it, and then those downbeats became upbeats, and that was 
that's mind blowing. And, and it's, it's so much fun to hear that kind of thing. Cause then it makes me want to try to count it out and see what they did, how they did it. And they've done that from the beginning because they love playing around like that. And, uh, that's one of the, another, one of the things I love about this band. So, ah, uh, so cool. Alex, thank you so much for requesting that. Um, can't wait to watch some more of the new dream theater with Mike Portnoy on drums. So, um, yeah. Stay tuned for that. All right. Come back for more cool stuff. See you next time. Bye-bye.